they pulled just beat Nate Diaz via unanimous decision. Uh, and in an absolutely awful boxing fight, it was absolutely awful. It was not proper boxing whatsoever. Awful from both. I thought Jake Paul was going to come in and make a statement tonight. He did not do that. I thought he was going to get Nate Diaz out of there. He did not do that. It was poor from both. Nate Diaz didn't put together one good combination. He was just swinging random shots. It looks like he's actually forgotten how to throw a bloody punch. Uh, yeah, Nate Diaz got humiliated, he got outboxed, even though Jake Paul didn't even box that well. Jake Paul, you know, his, his jab, you know, we did see improvements in that, so fair play to him, he's been working on his jab, and that is something that he has needed to work on. He was snapping Nate Diaz's head back with that, he was landing some fairly decent uppercuts, though Jake Paul was, um, to be fair, but overall, we didn't see great boxing, his footwork seemed a bit messy, to be fair, and it was a very sloppy fight, to be fair, we saw way too much clinching throughout that fight, Nate Diaz, just, I just don't, he does, his style did not look good, he left his body wide open for Jake Paul just to go for, Jake Paul went to, uh, to the body very well with Nate Diaz, tried to break him down there, but obviously Nate Diaz is very tough, didn't really affect him, Nate Diaz was just consistently playing off to the crowd the whole fight, let's be real, the guy doesn't care if he wins or loses he, he he does not care if he wins or loses he, he does not care that he just lost that fight apparently they want to run it back in mma or something nate diaz would destroy him in that i don't want to see that happen uh but yeah let's be real jake paul won he stands no chance against any pro boxer not at all going the distance with nate diaz who fights like that like i get Nate Diaz is very tough, but you need to be getting someone who fights like that in a boxing ring out of there. If you think you stand any chance of being a world champion, let alone beating any pro boxer, to be fair. Honestly, like, Jay Paul, he, he did not look good at all. It was, it was absolutely, it was not great. Yes, he landed great shots, but obviously that's because Jay Paul actually has boxing ability Nate Diaz has no boxing ability whatsoever that's basically what won Jake Paul that fight Nate Diaz was coming up at Jake Paul really well consistently pressuring him well done but he just kept walking into some big shots today Nate Diaz did land some big shots and I feel like uh, Jake Paul did that his defense got really 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 exposed his chin got really 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 exposed because you know a couple more shots in like right at the, at the end of round four and I think what was it like the round of at round nine or something he was getting hit hard and looked like and Jake Paul looked like he was almost about to get dropped so I think his shin was really exposed don't know how Tommy didn't drop him uh, which was weird I mean yeah uh, I, I really do think Jake Paul got exposed it was not a great performance at all uh, it was, yeah, it, 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 like, he, he did perform better than he did in those two Tyron Woodley fights. I think we saw a massive decline in Jake Paul's performance um, tonight than we saw when he fought Anderson Silva. He did not look too great. And yeah, I thought after a loss, he was going to come in and absolutely wreck Nate Diaz, get him out of there, set a proper statement, show us the things that he's fully actually been working on. And no, he didn't do that. I mean, yeah, he did drop Nate Diaz today. He did. Um... But yeah, Nate Diaz got straight back up and just continued coming forward at Jake Paul and didn't get dropped for the rest of the fight. Yeah, it, it, it was poor to watch. It was really, really, really bloody poor to watch, in my opinion. Um, what is next for Jake Paul? I don't know. But I mean, yeah, uh, Jake Paul, I think... I mean, for, for Jake Paul, I don't know what's next. I mean, but with Nate Diaz as well, just before I go on and talk about what might be next even though I'm not 100% sure. He was just playing off to the crowd the whole fight, just doing this walk away from him. He did about three times every bloody round, once every bloody minute. Uh, he was just walking away, trying to show off to the crowd. Then Jake, I don't know, just let him off the hook. But yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't get it. Jake just, I just feel like he was really exposed in that fight. If you just go forward at him, then it, yeah, if he fights a pressure fighter, who if he fights like a pressure boxer, he's going to get destroyed. I think it, 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 it's obvious. He stands no chance against any pro boxer. No chance whatsoever. That was awful from Jake Paul, to be fair. Nate Diaz, I mean... He's he's 38, he shouldn't have even been fighting him. And yeah, Jay Paul, I just feel like he was just all fully just all over the place. Like we saw way too many clinches from him. He and yeah, he was just getting hit too much with stupid shots. Nate Diaz just left himself open. His eye was swelling um quite a lot in that fight as well. 
Um, but yeah, overall, it was, a, it was a really poor fight to watch, to be fair. It was really, really, really poor. What is next for Jake Paul? I mean, KSI, I think he needs to fight him. I actually think it'll be a decent fight, to be fair. I do think it'll be a decent fight. I think after that, from watching Jake Paul, I think him and KSI would actually be a decent dust-up, to be fair. Um, KSI can knock him out, to be fair. I think Jake Paul will win because overall he's technically better than KSI. And with KSI style, like you never know, he leaves his chin high and then he just could land like Vulcan overhand right over because Jake has got a good overhand right bit. Nate Diaz obviously ate him up, but he has got a good chin. But yeah, still though, I think Jake Paul, he's not as, I don't think he's as powerful as people think though. Like, let's be real, he only dropped Anderson Silva once. He dropped Tommy Fury with a sloppy jab, even though it's mostly a footwork problem for Tommy. And Nate Diaz, he did drop, but couldn't drop, even though Nate Diaz was consistently coming forward. But yeah, Nate, uh, but yeah, no, nah, to be fair though, I think Nate Diaz is that kind of boxer that Jake Paul would struggle to because he comes forward at you. And if that, and Jake Paul look, looked like he did struggle on that back foot today, even though he was able to jab quite well when he was on the front foot, he did a decent job. But Nate Diaz, but Nate Diaz was able to push Jake Paul into that back foot. And Jake Paul does have quite a few issues defensively, to be fair. And that was really, really, really exposed tonight. It was exposed uh, against Tommy, but I feel like when you're fighting a real, like a proper, like when you're taking about five steps down from Tommy Fury, no, 10 steps down from Tommy Fury, then that's where you're properly exposed there. I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's happened, but yeah, it was a good win by Jake Paul. We won it basically every round. He was landing some good shots, as I, as I said earlier, but yeah, I think it was still a really sloppy performance. He was netting his hands dropped way too much in that fight. Yeah, he's not he's not very good. Um but yeah, Nate Diaz, I don't know what he was doing in that fight. Bloody hell. Uh, but he 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 doesn't care though. He, he he like he doesn't care that he lost. Apparently they want to run it back in MMA. Like Jake Paul even said as soon as he got on the mic after the fight, oh yeah, let's run it back in MMA. I don't think it's gonna I d I, <laughs> I don't know. Jake Paul would get destroyed in MMA. Uh, hopefully, anyway. Oh, yeah, uh, he needs to stop fighting his MMA guys, even though he'd probably go down that route anyway. He's never going to be a pro boxer. I don't know what's next. The KSI or the, wh whoever wins between KSI and Tommy Fury, he should fight next in boxing. Or he might actually be serious and go down the MMA route. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you on the next one here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.